Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my YouTube channel. Um, so I was actually able to film a video today, um, because I literally am doing nothing. <laughs> I'm on the bottom bunk of the bunk bed, that's why you can't see that. But I'm still on vacation, but I felt bad for not posting a video in quite some time. I know I've posted the YouTube shorts, um, which actually have gotten a lot of views, so thank you, thank you, thank you, and... Welcome to all my new subscribers, and thank you for subscribing. It literally means the world to me. We are at 165 now, so it's amazing, um, and I hope you guys will enjoy the videos I continue to make, and I am open to recommendations, critis or like any suggestions, anything like that um, for videos or care, anything like that. So definitely keep that open and i was gonna make a hamster video this is like so low my head right there um i was gonna make a hamster video because i haven't made one in a little bit and my channel is about a lot of different animals but hamsters are just one thing i don't have to do like a ton of research and really plan out the videos just because i know a lot about them way more than any of my other animals and i think they are more challenging animals than people think they are so i think these videos are just very important so this video is going to be mainly focused on hamsters but i might do a little bit of some other hamsters or some other animals so this video is going to be kind of explaining literally why you need to have a big enclosure for your hamster and why critter trail cages, the small plastic cages, 20 gallon tanks will not cut it. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a couple cages that I recommend and that are big enough. So first thing I'm going to start off with is a 40 gallon tank. So a 40 gallon tank is the bare minimum you can possibly have. I have bare in that right now, but I have filled that cage so much that he has a lot of things to do. I'm still trying to work on getting the IKEA Detoff for him. Um, they just never have it in stock or nobody will drive me there to get it. So he does have the bare minimum cage, but I do want to upgrade him so he has a little more room because i have so many toys so the bare minimum is a 40 gallon tank i would go bigger it's it's just better for them um i love gallon or i love like fish tanks you can call them but i love um like glass tanks number one they look nice um number two you're able to fill the bedding pretty high um for what cage you get um, the only thing I don't like about them is you can't really hang things to the wall. Sorry, my brother's playing Nintendo. Um, the only thing I don't really like about them is you can't really hang things to, like, the side unless, like, suction cups. But I don't really like suction cups that much just because they're so weak, for like what you use them for and some hamsters are heavy like bear is a big boy um so that could hurt a lot if um like the suction cups break and your hamster falls so that's the only thing i don't really like about them um the next thing um is going to be bin cages bin cages are amazing because you can attach them i had two bin cages and then i attached like a tube in the middle and it made it like a 90 gallon tank um in like reference it'd be like a 90 gallon tank but um it was huge and i had one side for like wood shavings which wasn't very high and then the other side was um like sleeping shavings like the comfy ones with um more hides and stuff so you can kind of connect a bunch of different tubes and you can also like hang wood things or anything like that to the side um without it falling down so you can like drill platforms in anything like that so those are two the ikea detoff is amazing the only thing is you do have to make a lid so if you're not very handy which it's not that hard um 
it might just take a little extra time but for all your hamster cages you do need to have lids hamsters are escape artists as soon as they get bored they will cause mischief even if they're not bored and they want to explore they will try to crawl right out of the cage and if you have it on a high surface they can fall and hamster bones are not very strong so they could break very easily and it could cause death so you definitely don't want that but let's talk a little bit about critter trail cages and the small plastic cages so a couple things that are wrong with them is number one they're plastic while bin cages are also plastic these th if you have Syrian hamsters enjoy chewing on everything like Cheeky, he chewed a lot of the plastic and that's why I had to take him out of the bin cages um, and put him in a glass um, tank because he would eat the plastic and he chewed out of the cage. <laughs> so if you have a hamster that loves to chew, I don't recommend plastic cages, but for critter trail cages, it's all barred, which is can cause monkey barring like they can chew the bars which will bend their teeth and then they can't eat so there's also it's it's just not safe because your hamster will get really bored and those are signs of boredom and if they drop off the bars it can hurt them a lot so um that's um one of the reasons the second reason is also the tray for shavings is like two and a half inches which they need six to ten inches of bedding so that is not going to cut it by any means um even for a robo or um a dwarf it's just not going to cut it um the next thing is going to be there is not enough space for hamsters all these animals live out in the open or used to so they're used to running miles climbing trees i'm not saying hamsters climb trees i'm like talking about every animal now they're used to flying miles running miles climbing trees burrowing like under the ground a lot so we need to recreate some of these things in our hamsters enclosures or in enclosures in general either by adding a lot of bedding, using chamber hideouts, putting different substrates in our cages, just because it takes the stuff from outside that they're used to and puts it in the enclosure. So by limiting the hamster space to a little plastic tank or cage, it's just not, it doesn't cut it. You need to have, I've made so many videos on basic hamster care, more advanced hamster care, that you just have to have these things so the reason it's not just like picture yourself in one room and basically you get maybe a desk a bed a nightstand and a dresser and that's it basically your job is to take some of those furniture pieces out and place other things in so say you might get a rug and a lamp but you take out the dresser and maybe the nightstand. You have to replace these things so your hamster doesn't get bored. If you have a big enough cage to have all of your toys in there and it's filled, maybe try moving things around, swapping it like opposite, putting tubes in different places, the wheels. Like you have to switch up your hamster's enclosure for them to be happy. I know this isn't really a reason why they have to have bigger cages, but this is just good talk in like, it's, I mean, this is just very, very, very basic care on what you guys should be doing. So I recommend a 40 gallon tank or up. I'm gonna say probably a 50 gallon tank and up. 40 is fine, but you have a limited amount of space. Speaking from me, I have one. So yeah, I hope this helped. Just try, um, if you need any help, watch some of my other videos. I made diet videos, bedding videos, bad bedding videos, basic hamster care, wheel sizes. I literally have it all. So scroll back down to my YouTube channel. And if you want me to make any newer videos, let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys, and I will see you in a little bit. Bye.